Just imagine, what if we built a jetpack out of an assault rifle? The logic seems simple. Fire forward, recoil pushes you back. Fire downward, it should push you up. The Saturn V rocket had a thrust-to-weight ratio of about 1.5, an AK-47 weighs 4.3 kilograms, and its thrust-to-weight ratio is around 2. That means its recoil is so powerful it could theoretically lift itself off the ground. But lifting a human? Nope. Maybe a squirrel. If one rifle can lift about 2.5 kilograms above its own weight, the obvious solution is kinda more rifles. Let's say 300 of them, each with a 250 round magazine. That rig could actually lift a human up to about 600 meters high and accelerate to nearly 100 meters per second. But why stop at rifles? What about aircraft cannons? Take the GAU-8 Avenger, a 7-barrel Gatling gun with nearly 5 tons of recoil force. Or the Soviet Gryazev Shapunov autocannon, even stronger, with a thrust-to-weight ratio of 40. Mount one of those on a car, shift into neutral, fire backwards, and you'd break every speed limit in under 3 seconds. In fact, sitting on a Gryazev Shapunov autocannon, you'd experience about 40 Gs of acceleration, enough to jump over mountains. Whether you'd survive it, though, that's another question.